Earlier this year, the White House received multiple threats resulting in a lockdown for several days. These potentially fatal incidents sparked interests within the Secret Service as they conducted a training exercise on the White House grounds on Friday designed to train agents to respond to potential critical incidents on the facility's grounds. As reported by The Hill, Friday's exercise was described as a dynamic training exercise that took place early in the morning. The White House press issued the following statement. Today's training exercise offered participants the opportunity to deal with potential critical incidents they could encounter at the White House and how to respond accordingly. During the exercise, the Secret Service reviewed command, control and communication procedures, response force coordination and effectiveness and other security measures. In addition, Secret Service Director Randolph Walls explains the purpose of the training methods. His statement reads, The Secret Service is bound to the unique no-fail mission of protecting the White House. The worldwide threat environment is real. These threats require us to constantly train so that we can evolve with the trends and tactics of our adversaries. Many people predicted that the potential critical incidents would consist of the dream of protesters and Antifa terrorist groups. Others speculate that it may be due to Trump's over-the-top meltdowns, since he is after all a loose cannon waiting to explode. The Secret Service is going to extreme measures to ensure the safety of everyone in the White House, but in reality the only threat to the White House is the man occupying the Oval Office.